Hi, I'm Josh Ackman with Park Industries Customer Service Department. On this video, we are going to be measuring our garnet flow um, to our recommended amount here and showing you how to set that. On this video, we are on our Javelin. Um, we're starting out at the screen here. I want to show you the screen, but all screens, will it will change what you're looking for um, or maybe a different screen depending on what machine you have. What you want to look for is your garnet valve right there, and it has an open and a close there. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna test our garnet flow to make sure we're getting the proper amount in 30 seconds. So I'm going to come over here by our mini hopper, and we are going to disconnect our garnet line. Let that hang down. And I'm going to hold here my measuring cup and my camera guy is going to set it um, or open it for 30 seconds here. The recommended flow amount, we are on a Dynamax 350 right now, so that is 108 cc's in 30 seconds. Any of our Park Industries jet models, whether you have a Hypertherm, AccuStream, any 50 horsepower, or 60 horsepower pumps are gonna be that 108 cc's in 30 seconds. If you have a Sabre jet with a 30 horsepower pump, then you are gonna be looking for 56 cc's in 30 seconds. Um, if you do have to air, you wanna air just a little bit below instead of more. Otherwise, you can have, if you get too much, you can have clogging issues down by your cutting head. So here, I'm gonna hold my cup and my camera guy is going to measure this out for 30 seconds. And I'm just gonna time it out for him. You can open it. Close it. Now that we have timed this out for 30 seconds, let's see what we got here. I'm just gonna come to level surface here tap this around to level that out completely. Not sure if the camera's able to pick this up, but we are just below that 100 cc's. We're at about 90 cc's here um, in 30 seconds. So we're a little bit low. We're looking for, on this machine, 108. And uh, so what we're gonna do is just turn up our dial a little bit and get a little more flow. We'll time it out again until we reach our desired amount. If you, or if you do need to go lower, you're getting too much, turn the dial down to get less garnet. If you get up to 10 here on your mini hopper and you are still not getting your desired amount through there, double check, make sure that your mini hopper is staying two thirds full. Um, if it's not, then we need to check our garnet hopper, um, make sure we have air pressure on our main hopper, all that stuff. Um, but if it is staying two-thirds full and we are maxed out on our line here up to 10 and we're not getting our desired amount, then we need to do our mini hopper maintenance. We do recommend mark your lines, your air lines here, and remove the whole mini hopper from the machine and work on it on a workbench. There's shift plates inside here that once you clean them out, you can normally get that working well again. Um, do try to, or if you can, remove it off of the machine. Don't come up here and take a, um, a air hose and start blowing the garnet around. That will get in your rails, bearings, and it'll cause premature wear on your machine. So, as always, if you have any questions about anything, let our customer service department know, and we'll be able to help you out. Thank you.